Hey guys, what's up? Miss Butler here. I hope you are having a good Monday. Um, we are going to try out a drawing challenge today that I saw from one of my art friends um, on Instagram, Paint Delone. We are going to do a fun watercolor zentangle and we're going to mess around with spices. So I've got some kind of weird designs going on here that I started just to show you. But we are going to mess around today with things from your pantry. So I've got some like curry powder, got some paprika and chili, stuff that you can find in your pantry. Got a little green matcha tea here, but if you don't have that, you can definitely use any kind of tea or coffee that you have. I would probably microwave uh, a little bit in a microwave safe conta container for like 30 seconds to get it kind of liquidy. I just kind of put mine on a plate and microwaved it. Um, or if you don't want to microwave it, you can, you're just fine with water. So I've got a cup of water here um, with some brushes. If you don't have a brush, you can definitely uh, use a makeup brush, maybe borrow one from mom, or you can use a Q-tip. So get creative. The point of this project is kind of to use ingredients that you have never used before. So um, I have a circle drawn that I kind of just, you can take a coffee cup or I, I took a candle and I just kind of traced it. So just to make the circle, because we are gonna paint inside that circle. So I took a little water and I kind of broke things up with my curry powder and I'm just going to start painting inside the circle. And you guys remember when we did wet on wet technique where you get the area wet. We don't have watercolor. Maybe some of you guys might have watercolor at home. You're welcome to use that if you have it. But if you don't, I, ex I encourage you to experiment because you can get some really cool effects with just tea and coffee and just a little bit of maybe spice, you know, any kind of spice that you have laying around the house. So remember, you kind of want to dab or you can do brush strokes. Just play around with it and see what you come up with. I had a lot of luck with the tea. You can kind of like fade things into each other. If something has kind of little, if, it, if it's not mixing very well, you can always kind of microwave it a little bit. Or if you like the little kind of dots in there, then keep it. Just go with it. The point of this is to have fun and to kind of mess around with stuff that you normally would never mess with. And here we are in this situation where we're all staying safe and being at home. Look around your house. See what you can experiment with. Um, you could actually do this with one of your character drawings. Anything like that. Like it could be a background. You guys know how to control watercolor it's kind of the same same idea whatever part of the paper you keep dry the color won't go um, whatever part you keep wet of course the paper you know you can kind of experiment and get some cool effects so mess around with this the next video that I do um, will be the Zentangle part and I'm gonna put some resources and blend in that drawing challenge for you so mess around for a little bit and stay tuned for the next video all right have fun